Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, today we'll be looking at data modeling. In the previous sessions, we looked at understanding the business and the data, and then we we'll looked at the extraction, transformation, and loading of our data set into Power BI. And here we are, right here at the Movedel Canvas view. So today we'll be doing the modeling of the data, and of course, this is a very, very important part of any analytical process the data modeling section it's, it's an aspect that is really really key and so uh, first we need to identify our tables and i'm aware that maybe not everyone or not all of us are able to easily identify the type of tables we have and of course we need to first know the type of keys that we have inside of our table. So it's really complicated stuff and a lot of people find it boring as well. So what I did was I created a separate video. If you fall in that category, if you're not able to identify your keys properly in your tables or even identify your tables, uh, the link is just in the description. So just check out that video first. Um, I, I went very, very basic with the explanation on how to identify the keys in your tables and also the type of tables. So once you are done with that, then you can join us. You can come over here because I would not be explaining in detail how to come about uh, identifying the keys and the tables that we have here. I would just go ahead with the modeling. Again, if you are not familiar with this topic or you, you don't understand it prior to this session, just check out the video in the description. Uh, right there so i will just come over to this document which i prepared that kind of tells us the type of keys that we have in each of these tables there it is so we have the data tables modeling so in this analysis we have the four tables of course and after evaluating and taking a look we are able to identify the other table as a dimension or a lookup table. This has been explained in case you're not familiar with what a dimension table is. It has also been explained in that video, which I told you to reference. So the orders table is a dimensional lookup table and it contains just one key, which is the order ID field. The pizza ties is a dimension as well. And then it contains pizza type ID as the primary key. There are no foreign keys in the dimension table. And then for the other details, this is a fact or data table. And we have the primary key to the other details ID and two foreign keys, the other ID and the pizza ID. And the last table here, the pizza table, we have the fact, we have it being a fact table. And then the primary key being the pizza ID and the foreign key being the pizza type ID. Now that we have identified the keys in our tables and the type of tables that we are dealing with, we can go over to our model view in Power BI to model these tables together. Okay, of course, we know that modeling is all about joining tables together, finding the relationship between tables, and that's exactly what we're going to do right here. So from what we have on the table that we kind of created, we can see that the others table here can join with the other details table using the other ID because in the others table, it's a primary key. And then in the other details, it's a foreign key. So I think these guys can join, can be joined together on this ID. So let's check it out. It should give a one to many relationship for sure. So this is the others ID on the others table. And then we try to find the other ID on the others detail table. And there you go. So you have the join. And then the second one, we can see that the pizza types uh, can also be joined to the pizza table using the pizza type ID key, right? So because it is primary key here, it is foreign key here. So we can for sure have a one to many relationship. So let's check that out. So on the pizza types, we have the pizza type ID joining with the pizza type id in the pizza table okay perfect and then we can see that the in the other details table 
we have the other ID as a foreign key. Um, okay, we joined it already. Okay, we have the pizza ID. That's the second foreign key that we have. And so this can be joined with the pizza table on that pizza ID. So it's going to be like a primary to foreign key um, joined there. So let's look for that. So that'll be other details. The pizza ID here joining with the pizza ID here in the pizza table. Yeah, there you go. Now that we have completed our joins, we can try to rearrange. Personally, I love to rearrange my tables so that I can have like a visual representation of what's really going on. So I'm just going to bring this over here and then I'm going to bring this somewhere here because this guy is the fact table that we have here. The only that like the, the one of the two fact tables we have. So you can see that this is a uh, dimension is flowing down. You can see the arrow. So I usually like the dimensions to be at the top. Now this fact to be here. And now we have two type of schemas. This is just an additional knowledge anyways. It's not so, so necessary. So you can see that this is flowing downwards. And then this is supposed to be a fact table. But the way it is structured, it is flowing down as well. It's not a dimension and this is flowing here so this kind of relationship is known as snowflake snowflake schema okay so um i have a different video that explains this uh, as well so talking about the two type of schemas we have we have the star schema and snowflake so this is snowflake you can see this flow like a snake coming from here to here to here and then this the one between this guy this guy and this guy is known as star schema so that's just the explanation I wanted to do. So now our data is model, we can take a look in our, you know, uh, our report canvas. So here we try to bring in, just test something, you know, to see if it's working. So we try to bring in name from the pizza types, I'm trying to bring in my name here from the pizza types. And then I can, this is name from pizza types here. And then I want to like see the quantity because here in the other details, we can see that we have the quantity of pizza that was, that was bought. So just to confirm that this relationship is working, if I bring the quantity from the other details, we shouldn't get an error. Perfect. Our modeling is done correctly. So the next video, we'll be going over to writing of DAX. Um, based on our metrics which we initially highlighted by our objectives we try to write a couple of them not all of them for sure but as we go on we would see the need to write um some more but the basic ones that we have already outlined we are going to write them out how to calculate them and then we can start some basic visualizations in the next video thank you so much for watching this and hope to see you soon bye bye